Here we are at the Cumberland Gap along Highway 58, just south of the Gap. And we're going to be taking an auto tour through Bell County, Kentucky, and a little bit of Lee County, Virginia. Incidentally, this is the best view of the Gap on the south side along Highway 58. You can actually see Boone Trace along the side of the mountain. It goes right through that little notch. So what is Boone Trace? It is the first road or trail that enters into the land that was to become Kentucky used by Daniel Boone and his trailblazers in April of 1775. After it was open, hundreds of thousands of settlers poured right through that gap and began the westward movement. We added this location into the Bell County Boone Trace Auto Tour because it's where the settlers gathered before setting off through the gap into the wilderness one last time, possibly to never return again. As they approached the White Rocks, they knew that they were getting close to the gap. The mountains appear formidable. You can imagine their excitement, anticipation, and apprehension of their new life. And here at the Wilderness Road State Park, there are some excellent reenactors that can give you some good information about the pioneer days and what went on here. Be sure to plan to spend some time here. We're now on the south side of the Gap in what's called the Daniel Boone Visitor and Information Center just off Highway 58. It has some good maps, animals, and artistic renderings of Native Americans and pioneers and animal sounds. And most importantly, back there is the actual Boone Trace. Now we're going through the tunnel on 25 East into Middlesboro. Be sure to stay in your lane. Interestingly, Middlesboro was built in 1890 in the middle of a crater caused by an asteroid strike 300 million years ago. Remember, Boone Trace came through here in 1775 when it was just a low area here. 
Now we're at the Cumberland Gap Visitor Center. This is a great place to get a map or get some basic information about the park. Be sure to check out the mural at the top floor. Now we're at the Pinnacles Overlook, where Boone Trace could be viewed from above. It's a spectacular spot where you can see three states, Virginia and Tennessee on this side, and Kentucky on this side. The trace can be seen coming from Martin Station, hugging the mountain, and through Cumberland Gap. All right, folks, we're now in a segment of Boone Trace known as the Saddle of the Gap. We're right here in the low point of Cumberland Gap. Right along this trail right here, literally hundreds of thousands of our pioneer ancestors passed right through here. Imagine their fears and their anxieties and their worries about settling in a new land. They brought literally everything they had with them here to settle. The thing about this particular spot along Boone Trace is, is a lot of people that visit here say that it's a very spiritual spot. If you just sit and listen and be real quiet, you can almost see their faces. You can almost hear their voices. You can hear the clink of the metal. and they passed right there along Boone Trace. After we leave the park, we rejoin the trace in the town of Middlesboro. The trace basically followed Yellow Creek through Middlesboro. And the auto tour turns down Cumberland Avenue to 15th Street. to Asbury, to 19th Street, where you'll find the oldest house in Middlesboro, which was on the trace and serves as a marker of Boone Trace. It follows Hearst Road and connects up with Old Pineville Pike, which was most likely the actual route of Boone Trace, which later became the Wilderness Road in 1796. Notice the road, the creek, and the railroad are all together here. Boone Trace then turns north up 25 East by Rocky Face.
the ridge line so named by Daniel Boone on the east side of 25 East. The trace is pretty much paved over by 25 East, but efforts are being made to create a hiking trail over Log Mountain on the west side of the road. Near Pineville, there is a second gap called the Narrows, which is a water gap where the Cumberland River cuts through the mountain. You can see the Narrows coming down the mountain right where that tree is sticking up. Cumberland Ford in modern day Pineville, Kentucky, where Boone Trace crossed the Cumberland River from the west to the east. We're now looking north on the bridge, and there's a famous rock near the left bank here called the Watch Rock. If it could be seen, then travelers could ford the river. If not, like today, it meant the water was too high and they had to build a boat or wait until the water went down. Plans are being made to turn this area into a park, and this building called the Bunny Bread Building into a visitor center. This is the actual boom trace. Leading north from the Ford on the east side of the Cumberland River, and it leads on up to Flat Lake. This is Four Mile, Flat Lake Road, locally known as Ely Hollow Road. It's the actual Boone Trace paved over following along the Cumberland River. We're finally at the Knox County line. We hope you've enjoyed your auto tour of Boone Trace through Bell County. We want you to learn the route, get in your car and drive it yourself, and learn all the fascinating points of interest and features along the way. To get further information about the driving tour through the county, visit Bell County Tourism Commission Building at 2215 Cumberland Avenue in Middlesboro, Kentucky, 40965. Or the Friends of Boone Trace website at www.boontrace1775.com. Look for map number one on the website, which has to be read on a computer. And for map number two, the Avenza app, which can be downloaded onto a mobile device.